Hi everyone, my name is Brittany and I'm with the Sarah Michelle NP team and today I'm going to be sharing some tips with you about how we can get the most out of our clinical rotations. These tips can be helpful whether you're just starting out in your NB program or you're about to graduate and become the real deal. Clinical rotations are a huge part of any NP program so it's important that we get as much out of them as possible. So first things first, how do we find a good clinical site? How do we find one that will be a good fit for us? Tip number one is use your resources and network. Many NP programs will set up clinical sites for their students. Others just don't have that capability. For example, I was in a hybrid program that covered multiple states, and so it just wasn't possible for them to set up a clinical site for each student. If you're in this situation, I understand it can be a stressor on top of everything else you have going on, but I'm going to share some tips that can help uh, make this process a little bit easier. So the first thing I would suggest is to check with your school to see if they keep a list or a database of some kind that keeps track of clinical sites used by previous students. This is a great resource and it's also a great way to find clinical sites that are already familiar with your school and know the requirements of your program. So that would be my first suggestion. Second is to network, network, network. Most of us have been working alongside nurse practitioners and doctors for years. We have so many resources available to us that we're just not using sometimes. So it's important to use those resources. Ask the people around you if, you're a, if you can follow them for a clinical rotation or if they have a suggestion of someone you could follow. This is a great resource. Here I would add, this is a great time to try out a specialty if you're interested. This is the time to try out anything that you think you, might be a good fit for you in the future. So don't be afraid to reach out to those specialty clinics as well. Tip number two, consider clinical a job interview because it very well might be. If the clinic is impressed with you, if they like your work, you could walk out of that rotation with a job. Or at the very least, you could walk out with some great resources for when you're applying for jobs. It's important that we present ourselves in a professional manner, not only to work well with the clinicians around us, but also to inspire confidence in those patients who will be seeing. Sometimes it's hard for us to get out of that student mindset, but it's important to remember that these patients see us as medical providers and they're trusting us with their health information and they're trusting our medical expertise. So this is a good opportunity for us to practice those professional skills and start seeing ourselves as medical providers. Tip number three, get to know the team. Nobody can do this job alone, and so this is a great chance to get to see how the clinic works, get to see who plays what role and how it functions and how it flows. It's a good idea to get to know the other providers in the clinic as well because it's they can reach out to you, let you in on interesting cases, and you can get more experience during that semester. In my women's health semester, I was following a great preceptor but she was seeing a lot of return patients and she wasn't getting as many of, of the physical assessments and, and procedures that I was hoping to see that semester. So early on, she reached out to the other provider and let her know the things that I was interested in helping with. This was a great semester for me because I not only got to work with my preceptor and learn from her, but I also got to take advantage of seeing the other side and the other visits that the other provider was having. It was a great semester for me and a great learning experience. Tip number four, participate. That's why we're at clinical, right? This seems like a no-brainer, but make sure that you are taking advantage of every opportunity to participate in procedures or whatever your preceptor is offering you. Um, it's a great opportunity if your preceptor offers to let you help with cryotherapy or um, skin tag removal or suturing a wound, whatever the case may be, do it. 
it's one thing to learn about it in the classroom, but you learn so much by participating in procedures with an actual patient. We all know that hands-on is the best way to learn, and this is the best opportunity for you to get that hands-on experience. So participate, participate, participate. Tip number five, clinical is not over until you review the day. When you go home after clinical, review those patients that you've seen through the day. Our NP programs are set up in a really great way to build on what we learned the previous semester. Clinicals are not organized that well because we don't know who's walking in. We don't know what we're going to see. It's very typical that we see patients that have a condition that we're not familiar with. So it's important to review those patients while everything is still fresh in your mind. One thing that was really helpful for me when I was in clinical was to take notes on everything I had questions about throughout the day. This kind of seems like common sense, but taking notes in the moment helps you remember the questions that you have. And as soon as I had a chance to sit with my preceptor, as soon as we had some downtime, I would go over my questions in the moment so it was fresh and I could remember the questions that I had. And then when I would go home at the end of the day, I would take time to review the patients I saw that day and the conditions that I was not familiar with. And I would go over the symptoms and the risk factors and the treatments while everything was still fresh in my mind. Because we know that when we see a patient in front of us, everything makes a little more sense. So it's important to remember to review and research everything that you saw that day that was unfamiliar to you. That way you'll be more prepared in the future when you see a similar case. So let's review these tips. Use your resources and network. Clinical equals job interview. You never know what you could get from a clinical, so be prepared. Get to know the team. The team is a wonderful resource for you, and no one can do this job alone. Participate, participate, participate. Take advantage of every learning opportunity that you have. You'll thank yourself later. Clinical is not over until you review the day. Using these clinical tips can help whether you're just starting out in your NP program or you're about to graduate. That's it for clinical tips. Keep up the good work and you can do this.